A Tesla coil is the closest thing to creating do-it-yourself lightning bolts. It's actually two giant coils of wire that conduct electricity, one charging up the other. As current flows through the primary coil, it creates a voltage across the secondary coil that sends arcs of electricity flying out of the top. A Tesla coil generates the same kind of high voltage, low current electricity called alternating current, or AC, the same power that comes out of a wall socket. The arena's Tesla coils are off limits for experimentation, but of course the backyard scientist, Kevin Kohler, knows how to get his hands on one. Mmm, backyard Kevin with a Tesla coil. I don't know if I'm scared or excited. Those are both sensible reactions to Kevin Kohler. We're meeting Kevin Kohler in a park where his homemade Tesla coil is already sparking interest. Do y'all know how a Tesla coil works? Any theories? I forget. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just fire it up? Yeah, you want to fire it up and see what it does? Sure. All right. You can feel it like that. And it doesn't actually feel like a shock. So why isn't Kevin in pain from being zapped by these mini lightning bolts? This coil generates about 100,000 volts. It doesn't feel like a shock, but you see the little orange bits? Uh -huh. What it actually feels like is maybe a spark falls on you. It might be surprising that despite the high voltage of a Tesla coil, it usually doesn't give a very painful shock. Electricity is basically electrons flowing through wires. The electrons make up the current. It's the voltage that pushes the current through the wire. It's a big spark, but it doesn't hurt you. That's because it's high voltage, but low current and high current is what gives you a shock. It does definitely have the mad scientist vibe. The small lightning bolt from a Tesla coil is actually electricity in the form of electrons being thrown off into the air. Real lightning is basically the same thing, only much bigger and stronger. But Nikola Tesla wasn't trying to make weak lightning. So you can probably tell this light bulb is not plugged into a lamp. Put it in your other hand, no, no magic tricks, no wires. No wires. High voltage, low current. Yeah. The way wireless power works is similar to what happens in an electrical storm. The Tesla coil creates an electric field in the air that pushes electrons through the bulb and lights it. Tesla's idea was to build these transmitters so you could, you know, power your light bulbs without having to pay anybody. Yeah. But, unfortunately, it didn't work out too well. It's like a flashlight. Right. You know, you point it at something, the farther away it is, there's not as much light on it. Same thing with this. It can light up a light bulb close, but once you go across the field, there's nothing. 